Hello there everyone and welcome back to episode 3 of us playing as the Sierra Enclave. In this episode, odds are we'll probably go to war with the NCR as they are taking out the divide and we are about to launch an invasion of Vault City. Let's see if we can do well. But we have the Enclave radio to talk about next. Our spies radio beacons could be used to broadcast the Enclave's message to the Californians. Let sympathizers far and wide hear the Enclave's vision. While we are at it, those same beacons can also be used as listening outposts. So they're attacking our guys. We want to pair drop into them. Uh, let's go take a little bit of time here. Hopefully we, hopefully we don't lose too many guys. Why are we not going? Still preparing, huh? Divisions? What do you mean which divisions are still preparing? Uh, in this case, we're going to throw another one on here too. Oh. Hey, is it because you're doing that? Uh... There we go. That just takes some extra time. I don't understand it, man. I really don't. We lost seven guys, which is their 29. Fall of all they can't stand much more. That's very good. Help them out. Alright, there we go. There we got him. Alright, so that, that does worry me a little bit as, uh, before we do we'll go to war with NCR. Oh, that's not good. We need some definitely bribe as well. We gotta send some spies back to California. California remains the heart of the West Coast and the NCR is the largest post war government. How we handle them could determine the fate of America. Set on spies. Read off Crimson Caravans. By stealing and replacing documents of the nearby Crimson Caravan outposts, we can prevent the caravans from running into any of our patrols. That's what we want to do. Um, what else do we got here? Crack the code. Anti communist propaganda. Unclear propaganda. Old world radio. New world hopes. Old world blues. Old rural propaganda. Operation Babylon. Well, Old world radio. Unclear radio can broadcast songs to trade on. Nostalgia for better older America and ignoring our shortcomings? Yeah, why not? Oh, cool. in the meantime, we're going to have all our guys trained because that's what we could really use. We don't have a lot of cores here. It's alright, got about 8,000 manpower. Decent, got some doggos to put down resistance. Get more research speed because that would be delightful. We don't have a lot of political power. We've got some quite a few comms to go through as well. Such as, the new American state gives you more sophisticated tech. The United States gives you more manpower and LARP. Kind of like both. Obviously, we're not going to have enough political power here for this, but, you know, whatever. Ooh. Hijack the big circle? Consider the most profitable trade route in Northern California. You can easily tap into this route and reap the rewards. A lot of blood in Northern California. The big circle now runs between three of our cities. And while back in 2242 it was quite dangerous, a lot has changed in 30 years. First and foremost, our glorious return. Regardless, the caravan routes of the big circle bring in more than just profits. We're going to have our troops patrol the caravan routes, ensuring growth of these routes up north. And the migration that follows others move north to take a chunk of the profits, however. Such an action will earn the ire of the NCR. We could just impose a heavy tax on the road through the new arena, Vault City of the Den, discouraging growth and increasing profits, keeping the, the eyes of the bear towards Kaiser. West Side economy is the American economy. Ooh, our makes vegan. Daily trade tariffs. Freeing slaves and making money. Big circle freedom. Hmm. Growths. Heavy tax. Discouraging growth and increasing profits. Freeing slaves. Uh, I like the trade. New world hopes. As much as I want to do old world blues, country roads take me home to the place I belong. Broadcasting songs of a bygone era can drive support for a cause and make people ignore crippling flaws. We have new world hopes, maybe. So I would help people look forward to a better, brighter tomorrow? Today! And I do want to do old world uh, propaganda eventually, but... Um, what do we want to do next? Our new city. Yeah. There was enough disaffected elements in Vault City that we've been able to secure the loyalty. This is the second city of the United States. Air Equites. In a recent development, NCR scouts have noted seeing aircraft flying over the skies of the Legion. This development is speculated to have been the creation of the Aquilan Palatine, the secretive scientific body behind the Legion's more recent development. It appears to have been a joint venture between the shadowy organization and the speed cult in Tucson, creating a troubling development for what is generally considered a Ludite organization. NCR intelligence believes that the Legion may have cannibalized the various fighters left over at the pre-war Air Force base that the Tucson had been using for spare parts to assemble its Air Force in record time. Regardless, NCR Air Force officials have remained optimistic, pointing out that the NCR training skill and flexibility will win over the day. Uh, anything, win over anything the Legion can throw at them. Oh, come on. <clears throat> the League of Citizens, as it turns out, many wastelanders have their own view of ghouls, mutants, and primitives. First system in the Nail of Fall City has joined ranks with many enclave moderates who think that civilized wastelanders are real Americans, but the travels need a firm guiding hand and mutants and ghouls need a plasma blast. 
To many, the Vault City is a model town, peaceful and prosperous in the comparison to the riffraff in New Reno or Shady Sands, only bolsters their views. Then it has the League of Citizens, promising to rebuild all of America in Vault City's image. Two steps forward, one step back. Publicly, they announce this new party and their ideals. We'll lose some stability. She's something of a point. If we acknowledge this point of view, is legitimate. Lose legitimacy. No, let's go forward together. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by the Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I get some legitimacy. I'm get this because we are charismatic. Nice. I already get nearly as much as it was before. Um, someone says, Until all of us, including ghouls and super mutants, are Americans, none of us are, and when the time comes, the truth will set us free. Cool. Homecoming. Vault City. And its corresponding suburb of a courtyard was once the home to many enclave refugees who survived in Navarro, and it was here that many made their home. <coughs> the elderly settled here, and the next generation grew up in these streets, and the next generation have been friends with many of these other city children. Yet now, they're turned not as fellow citizens, but as conquerors, gazing over their former comrades from behind the eyes of power armor. Perhaps it was wishful thinking on Granite's part to use the former residents to assault the city. They knew it better than anybody else, and it was hoping that the fighting would be quick and decisive. In a moment of humanity, many from the city couldn't bring themselves to shoot they, who they called friends and family. Instead, routinely suggesting for surrender and avoid casualties, much of the city's leadership refused and took a special operation by members of the new Reno to finally crack the city open. Now that it lay in Enclave hands, many of our residents couldn't help to assist in reconstruction from the heavy fighting between the Vault City security and Enclave soldiers. Others hoped to resettle in their homes, though it would be awkward to resettle after their so sudden disappearance, only to reappear after the Enclave return. These are our citizens. We must treat them with respect. Be sure to incorporate the city guard. We can use their knowledge. Ooh. Oh man. I kind of want more unit leaders. But treat them with respect. That seems like the route we're really taking here, though. Uh, uh, fine, we'll treat them with respect for now. Hey, most of your training's done. Nice. And the Gecko Power Plan. Vault City and Gecko could not cooperate, uh, meaning the power supply was a fraction of what it could be. Now that we united them, are we all better off? Of course we are. Grab NCR officials, we could. We also have uh, Vault City University. Vault City is the most developed city in the Waste and home to many of the right sorts of people. We can build a center of higher learning to both educate the Wastelanders and persuade them to think and support the American dream. If only we could think of a mascot. Nice. Hey, 50% is not bad. And after this, we build the power grid. Gaining pop and support through the rule of law and democracy is nuts, but ensuring an adequate power supply will also show our enemies have always been in the dark. Since we're here. Oh. Crud. We already did this one, so not much we need to extract spies. Good. Cause a diplomatic incident with the sheep. We can use our spies to cause a serious diplomatic incident between the sheep and NCR, making them break their lands and any hope for any kind of support between the two. We'll give the sheep state strategic reasons to leave or ignore an NCR alliance. Are they already in? They are. Um, so if we do this, what happens with that? Now they're just a sheep. I don't know. Maybe nothing. Hey, yeah, Nuka-Cola core. Now that tastes sweet, it's gone of making this stuff again, except quantum Nuka-Cola. Turquoise solar project. Sure, it's not helis, but we're not trying to power California. Not as far outside of New Reno lay the ruins of now former other turquoise solar energy project. Much, like much of New Reno, it was spared destruction from the Great War. However, 200 years of lack of upkeep and maintenance have led it fall into disarray. The gangs in New Reno never ventured to start the project, lest they be targeted by rivals. Now that law and order has been restored, the enclaves managed to get the project running at near full capacity again. Was no helis one, the project is more than capable of power... Powering the Reno as nearby sediments for the time being. Finally, I can power my toaster. Good, now we can stop using generators. Um, I'll go with that one. I should help with that a little bit. Crack the code. The New California Republic may believe the rudimentary encryption is enough to secure the communications, but a new radio system makes cracking the codes child's play. Now we're going to impersonate even their highest level command structure at least once. The Baron Incident. No, oh, the Lucia Incident. Bears can't fly. Oh, look at that. Oh, that'd be pretty good, too. Production costs, yeah, that would be better to do faster than later. What is Eight days left, nice. So we get civilian power grids, allows you to build those, connecting the local populations to your power grid and your control. So we get six in total, civilian power grids, even though we're going to lose energy eventually. We need a lot of energy too, to do all this. <coughs> cool. Chem trade. Control of New Reno and Vault City has given the Enclave control over the West's pharmaceutical industry. Some suggest the Enclave revive old ties with criminal syndicates and seize the Wasteland's chem trade. I'll suggest we legalize the chem trade in our territory and take a cut. For some reformers claim we do better uh, to turn out Mentax and antibiotics instead of jet and trade for rare goods, but they're probably huffing Brahmin crap. Seize the chem trade for fun and profit. Ooh. 
Cam's legalized, huh? More breakthrough, that's interesting. Legalizing jet is a swing issue for today's youth. Let's see the nation's wounds. Yeah, we definitely want that one for the better uh, components and whatnot. Let's try command, uh, old soldier. Um, oh, quantity PA? Or quality? Of course we have to go quality. I love quality. Oh, vertebrate design teams too. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I've got, I have to. Let's convert a lot of these guys over to a single template. Ooh, actually, that's not good. Tear for leaf's gone. Well, that's good then. Crack code. Bears can't fly. Seems, uh, but the NCR took Navarro. They found some wings. The Bears' production far outclasses ours in Nevada and be hell on our reborn Air Force. So we'll play a sabotage. However, my tip the scales in our favor. You have to preempt all this stuff. Of course, we need way more power armor, but we're working on it. <clears throat> By God, we are working on it. Extract spies. Not yet. Sponsor railway. Uh, we're going to need quite a bit of political power for this next one here, aren't we? Nice. That's not bad overall. And... 50, huh? That's a lot. Bears, of course, cannot fly. Operation Babylon. The NCR mocks pre war America, claiming to stand for liberty and progress, even as it's mired in corruption. By attacking its weak points, we can knock the whole chapter down. The whole thing over. Eh, yeah, get positive here. Nice. The Baja joins the NCR. <coughs> After concluding negotiations with the local cartels on the peninsula. Um, if you don't know about this, please go ahead. NCR continues to grow. I don't that propaganda, of course. Um, yeah. I'm in the Californian Civil War, huh? Oh, we're not gonna push us over. Defense are online. Fantastic. The Lucia incident. We have enough T-51 power armor around that we can fake a brotherhood attack on the NCR outposts. At the same time, we'll order an attack on the Brotherhood using cracked NCR high command codes, which should be enough to tip their fragile piece. That's state to be core, eh? Nice. Um. Yeah, we'll do that one first. Why not, you know? Oh, we're about to be done with this. That's good. That's gonna come along. It's a little ahead of time, so probably do basic tools next. Fantastic. And got those. Good. Crowd control gear, huh? Uh, depot uncovered in NCR territory. Spies have uncovered a map leading to an abandoned pre-war military depot. Um, it holds a large amount of older power armor suits work in working condition. However, if this depot is in NCR territory, meaning our efforts may not go unnoticed by the bear. Excavate what we can. Cover tracks instead. Yeah. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. There's a stability. We'll fan the flames of discontent within the NCR. Use the corruption, outside threats, and broker promises will be spread out by radio stations and spies. No, that can be nothing but fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Further store naval air station, Fallon. Oh, so on first. Well, seemingly a random naval air station in the Nevada desert, NAS Fallon is home to the Naval Air Warfare Development Center, or more properly known as America's P Pass, as Top Gun, the place where the best of the best fly with the rest. Nice. USGS Reno Water Science Center. The Conway Center appears the ruined government research center to the Uncle Evans opportunity to drink. <clears throat> Music fault found. Music fault found. <coughs> During their efforts to clean up some of the smaller criminal organizations in New Reno, Uncle Evans soldiers have stumbled on a treasure trove of pre-war audio tapes. The vast majority of the tapes have survived and hold long-lost tunes of the old world collected by a wealthy crime lord over the course of decades. The propagandistic value of such a collection should not be underestimated, as very little music is available to those within the Uncle right now. Who make patriotic songs, promote old world nostalgia, release the tapes freely. Intellectual song. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I guess we gotta go back and look at that one. That sucks, my bad. Common man. The NCR adopted a lot of the old ideals of the old way of America, including democracy and the respect for individual rights. But many lives have forgotten the society who could turn us to us for assistance. Which would be pretty good. Um, we'll talk about all that stuff too. Old world propaganda would be nice. And what else we do? The mean question. We'll save that for a little later. Um, 
do awesome ones too. But from the Secret Service, which we read last time. And do we have something over here? Oh, yeah. From the General Staff. General Staff needs to be prepared for real wars against real states. Unfortunately, the data banks have plenty of records from the last time Americans fought a real war. A new generation of remnant officers. The other officers are set in their ways, but the ones who have survived held out against the NCR and Brotherhood will be fools to ignore them. A new generation of officers. A new generation of officers has arisen. We have hidden throughout the wasteland. They have their own views of how to handle combat and will be foolish to ignore them. I also do revive the Air Force. The rebel governments of the West have been able to find fuel planes of their own to contest the skies. It's time to revive the United States Air Force and show them who really rules the heavens. I think I'm going to go with the new generation. Just because I I just I feel like that should... We're a new new enclave. We're enclave. But we're kind of new still. I think that would be for the best. U.S. GS Water Science Center. Basically an abandoned government research office that saw funding slash as the Great War continued, of course. It's a great luck that the USGS office in the arena was left alone by scavengers. And West Center, since no one exactly found water at this location instead, the real prize of the data sensors and the large research logs that pinpoint the aquifers that have been replenished over the past couple centuries. Thanks to our low fallout in the area, they are likely not to be as tainted as some other areas, of course. Uh, Tracks spots, uh, Which one do we want to close out of? We do that one. Cool. Let the water flow of uh, waters of life flow. Great more water for my bubble bath. Even better, look at that. Secrets of Area 51, most advanced of the pre war air research centers. Secrets protected by weird occult raiders. It's time to reclaim our air base. So, the technologies we've heard coming out of our old air base, or base at Area 51, are beyond even the unclass scientists and surpass what we thought pre war engineers were capable of. All that technology could easily be put to reuniting in the States, but instead they're being used to keep errant voice centers, hobbles, and tents warm at night. A treasure trove of Area 51's rifle. Government property, we can't have a series of tribals, settlers, or raiders squatting over with no idea what they have at their fingertips. Where do they actually figure out what, what they have to what, would, would figure out what they do have? We propose an immediate plan to conquer the base. You have to wonder where they got these ideas. Well, we ain't even down there, but the Silver State. <clears throat> Nevada's ancient mine and industry can be reborn to aid us in reforging the economy and more. <coughs> There's silver in them hills. Ghoul, ghoul, too. Aside, Vegas enacting a bombing range. Nevada is some of the largest silver and gold mines on the West Coast. Surprisingly, the rare and precious materials are still considered valuable to post-war markets, and we're still on mother loads of this stuff. Not to mention, once word gets out that there's fortune to be made here in Nevada, people start flocking to the area like in the gold rush of ancient times, of course. If we use people, we have kind of have to care for them, or no one else will arrive. We could make up with robotic workers who will work full-time on the breaks. However, that will cause tension among the populace, and there's no, one, no one's going to arrive if robots are doing all the work. We've got human miners over machines. Bring the auto miners. Oh god. Legacy of Hornwright. Um, I like that one more, but... I don't like Legacy of Garahan. I don't like that one at all. We'll go with that one. Oh. I want to stay with maximum infrastructure. Uh... Okay. Sure, why not? 63%, that's not bad. That ain't bad at all. Um, I am worried about how many power divisions we have. I'm going to need to field more and more and more and more. Obviously, it's never enough. We only make one a day. Better than nothing, but still. All this stuff down here is important and all, but... Oh, you know, run the Mojave. Nice. Need more power armor. Oh, there's a report the general staff. Um, provide the Air Force. Yeah, that'd be good. Am I playing the Super Optimally? Of course not. Why would I be? Provide the visuals. We got some more enough time. Overload the defenses, of course. This one, Mexican engineering. We got plenty of stuff we could do here. I don't think we're really, really ready yet. Uh, let's do uh, patrol the streets. The Enclave and you. Yeah, pre war, the capital is defended by both the Metro Police and vitally important areas were overseen by the military. But pursuing the military in key strategic areas, the police can increase their patrols and even call them in when needed. Oh, look at that. Finally. At least another division we can throw over there. Last show. Nice. Hey, they found something at least. Are we poor? Yeah. Cool. Well, not cool to be poor, but whatever. Um, cargo planes? Nice. So, honestly, we're probably, the next war we're going to be is going to be the big one. We have a lot of the divisions all around here. We'll just be able to hold the line. Well, we attempt to pair drop all well, these guys would expand out a lot. We're gonna need the NCR and land in most of the places. They all claim in you. 
Hello, citizens of New Reno. This is Douglas Granite. By now, you've seen the New Reno police patrol near your streets. Go to see the enclave. However, it is, seems that the denizens that prowl your streets and wish to see a return to the crime destruction of all things they can gain the advantage of order and law. Well, to that, I say, bring it on. Starting today, members of a brave military will begin assisting the New Reno police to patrol the streets. Now, don't worry, I know what you're thinking. I won't be declaring martial law. We created the New Reno police to remove that instead. They are augment the police by protecting high value areas, allowing police to put greater men and power on the streets to keep you safe at night. When you see our brave men and women in the power armor, be sure to thank them, salute them maybe. They, like all of us, are trying to make the wasteland a better place to live. And remember, the Enclave wants you to rebuild New Reno. Absolutely. Restore the reactor, huh? We're opening the Sierra Laboratories. Or to Sierra, huh? Yeah, we could use that extra power armor. <coughs> Better part below. I read this before. If you miss again, please go ahead. Yeah. It's going to take us time. Oh, power all. Power ready. Fine. Connected to the grid. Naval Aviation Warfighting Development Center. Headquartered Naval Air Station Fallon. The Naval Aviation Warfighting Development Center. Or, or, uh, NAW DC was a premier air warfare center for the United States Navy. In common popular U.S. parlance of the era, it was known as Top Gun. That's the real treasure of the NASA Fallon, which many prospectors, scavengers, and the Yakuza failed to understand given that none of them ever thought they would ever be flying in the post war America. Now, not NAS Fallon is back in control. We can open those old vaults and data banks and turn the best of the best of the Navy's fighter school and put towards their own fighters and vertebrates, as well as training new. Generation of areas is down to the skies and the far side as many wasteland air forces. Fly, eagles fly. Gives a boost to naval airstrike and ace generation. Beautiful, my friends. Honestly, don't even build these yet because these will be valuable later. And I'll show you why because I want to build up the new core. Nuka Cola core, really. Now, the day is sweet as concept making the suit off again, except Quantum Nuka Cola, of course. What you do want? Send him out. Right now, we are out 200 some odd power armor. Oh, Jesus. Beautiful. Even more, because we need him. Um, it's been far below, yeah. 80s in New Hammond. Uh, let's go and set this up. Honestly, this is probably not going to go very well for us when we do this. Carolina? Yeah. Now, knowing this war, and having, I've actually literally just capitulated them several times doing this before, hopefully it's the same as it is before, all you need is a major victory points, and you capitulate them. Northern California does not have that many uh, very useful victory points, I mean, they have victory points, don't get me wrong, but, <clears throat> of course we need shady sense as well. Um, it's all mid, it's really Southern California has all the uh, areas that we really do need. So you don't, really don't want to leave anything to chance. <coughs> Shady Sands, they're struggling over there. Mojave Outpost, I don't know how many victory points that is, but we're going to do it anyways. Um, Navarro would be nice to have too. Because I assume all of this is going to be taken out anyways. Uh, how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's do two more, just in case. Sac City would be very important to get. That's the ones you probably really honestly need. Uh, Reading is not bad. Necropolis, The Hub, Maxon. Uh, okay, why not we are going to get to? Yeah, we got that one over there. Junk Town. That's good. Nice. So that should be decent for us when we need to do that. Of course, we're going to make more divisions in the long, short term anyway, so that should be okay as we're still preparing. And if it's equipment, start going to bring this over. It's Kaiser's Titans, huh? And what have been described as a gift from Mars, the Legion recently deployed what some have described as super mutant behemoth in a show of force along the Colorado, hulking mutated monstrosities straight out of that 2162 nightmare. Eyewitness reports have been throwing chunks of debris, derelict cars, and even dead bodies across reverend displays of terror that is resonating up the California coast in the Sierra Nevada. 
And also question whether Kaiser or acquire these perversions of science, with some speculating that they're the enigmatic Aquilum Palatine. As form an alliance with a little group that seeks claim to the former Los Almos Research Laboratory. Regards, it represents a dangerous development for those who oppose the Legion. Titans, really? Cool. Your armor's looking still pretty good. You're buying struts. We'll go ahead of time. Do that. Do that. It's fine. Good. 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 Expand below. Excavation below has begun. To surprise, we found a pre war survivor. Private for class Audi Dobbs of the U.S. Army. He's been locked in stasis, or stasis for the better part of 200 years. Our scientists have carefully initiated a revival procedure to ensure he not suffer from post chronic syndrome and turn into a sudden puddle of slime. After a few minutes of disorientation, he's fully recovered, though somewhat distraught at the inter intervening 200 years. <clears throat> However, he's eager to return to service. Being a loyal American soldier, being a purebred genetic human, we can't deny that request. Our engineers are already to begin excavation, though they only have the manpower for one project currently. Ex excavating. Expand. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Excavating lower level sounds better. Regarding the archives, they're okay. Well, that just gives you more equipment and raw resources. Well, of course, we don't really need to have that. Sophisticated tech is better, though. <coughs> okay. Cover the archives. Well, I guess we can do that anyway, so. Much of research was lost in Navarro, sad and other resulting in exodus. Even a communication protocol that had to be established to so let us salvage what we can from the servers and archives of the Sierra Army Depot. Surely some of this information is suitable for our own purposes. So we actually didn't get that armor. So we should have done the other one then. But yeah, we didn't get the armor. It just auto-completed, which sucks. Oh, maybe it didn't. Okay, maybe it actually did do that. Okay. So it doesn't suck. Sometimes it does happen for normal focuses. Americans, one and all, huh? Clark, Hansa Del Sol. Nice job. Pair drop attack. We want, want that one. Honestly, I said I'd do that, so... 250? Screw it. We're doing it. Add activities? I can still do it at least one more time if we need to. Let's get all the ones we really care about done. Desert? Or hills? Hills and mountains. Um, I'm going to do that just because we have that all over the place here too. Scouting the archives. Very good. Scouting the surface. Very good. M16s, huh? That's really cool actually. What are we going to lock? Anything here? No? Okay. Spec Ops, infantry armor is looking pretty good. We should be fine with that. And, uh, power them all. Do that. Cool. Do we have enough energy for this? Oh, we do it for now, y'all. Cool. Hit and run, that's what I do in my real life. Okay, anyways. We build the airstrip. <coughs> Program and the robot defenses. The automated defenses of Sierra Armor Depot kept us safe from looting for two centuries until the return of the rifle owners. Let us adjust the programming the most operational machines to serve as field division. Oh god. Light speed in which direction? Grant C. Hayes, elected president. Oh boy. They're building the airstrip. Deep underground in Sierra Armor Depot's second hangar. Design acts a contingency plan. Holds within several B fifty uh, BB two zero twos, and the means to keep them running as smoothly as the day they were entombed. Strike the surface. Our engineers decided to work on the surface, clearing out much of the rubble, debris, and bodies. While well, I can't confirm who these bodies were, we can determine the oldest ones and bury them with full military honors. And others we put in Golgotha. However, the engineers have only enough manpower to work on one project, either the airstrip or the well, defenses. Get them immediately, so. Sound defenses, which are okay. Um, we don't have that, so I'd rather just focus on these guys then. Nuclear column, crisp, cool, and refreshing. Some of viable after 200 years in a nuclear war. With the control of some of the greatest chemical industries in the waste, we can revive nuclear cola production and sell it as non perishable luxury goods. Each drink we can come in the free bottle cap. That fizz tastes like freedom. Amen. Really worth it. it. Just takes forever to build. We actually have enough power armor for now. I mean, it's not fantastic power armor, but it is what it is. Remember Navarro. 
Yeah. If you're this again, please go ahead. White House Reborn. Since Granite started his new Reno Reborn initiative, work is slowly been progressing about many are dubbing the Western White House. Now construction is nearing complete. <coughs> Scavenger Jackpot. Scavengers returned to the new Reno with reports of an intact military base, which we thought lost. When the energy weapon stockpile, think traditionally. Scavengers have the right to the property. They find, but we could use our new police force to seize his fines. On the other hand, if we respect his claim, it will cement his claim to stand for order and the rule of law. We can tax that, right? Ooh. Yeah, because we have out with the old. Well, I'll supply to the people in the government alike. Nice. <coughs> and does help with compliance, which is fantastic as well. Open in the old hangars. The hangars of the depot have been closed for well over 200 years. We had to cut them with plasma cutters just to gain access. Inside, however, was something none of us were expecting. An entire fleet of VB-01 vertebrates, the pre-war model for the Enclave War Course. Well, not as well armored as a VB-02 gunship, or having as large capacity as a VB-02 transport, the VB-01 is a versatile utility platform that can perform a variety of functions on the battlefield that the other two find difficulty in accomplishing. We have found technical uh, manuals and flight instructions along with the train new generation of army pilots, sadly. The VB-01s were all we found in a sorry condition, <clears throat> and they seem to have been cannibalized for parts. <coughs> Thankfully, technicians were looking them over and assured us that it's possible to reproduce these aircraft using the facilities here at the depot. Begin production immediately. Awesome. That's actually really cool. Vertiports of four companies. Interesting. Between two. Or any five. Let's wait for this next full contingent to arrive first. Just be safe. 260. It's alright. Come on, man. Operational security compromised, resource extractions, fun, sponsor a railway, we could, we're gonna do this one instead though. Restore the reactor, oh that'd be good. Sierra <coughs> Depot, state of the art automated power system once service to air defenses and this large radar array before the war. <coughs> the passage of town has not been kind to it. Uh, with the risk of securing Ball City, we have the advanced tech to repair it to full function. We have received an emergency transmission from our espionage in the NCR. They claim to have been compromised and have abandoned their base of operations as a result. Days away from the border and on foot, they are asking for emergency evacuation. Heroic extractions and no man left behind looks good in the after action reports, but we need to consider our operational security as a whole when deciding report response to an extraction team by Vertebrae. Vertebrae can bring our infiltrators back home in no time and reflect on us internally, but an emergency flight is sure to cross or arouse some suspicion. Authorize an unsupported. Uh, retreat. Our spies are resourceful. They can make it back on their own. Too much support from us, I will only increase risks. Order them to relocate within the NCR. No need to call our operations off or still getting cold feet. Our location's enough. Alright. Let's go ahead and get them. Send them out again. The Western White House. At least that's what the press dubbed it. While well, the Secretary of the Depot provided the President with the best protection in the wasteland. Uh, the detachment from the people who the Enclave claimed to represent soon took its toll. Even if nothing more than a show from the beginning of the Reno Initiative, everything was aimed to create a house fit for the leader of the Enclave. With the old Salvatore mansion, it was renovated, remodeled, and recreated the image of the White House in Washington, D.C., of course. <coughs> of course. Befitting the President of the United States, the Western White House, who was adorned soon, became a new landmark within the city. With the Secret Service on routine patrol aside the army, the area sounded around and became some of the safest in the city. Causing small economic boom for the city. It was here that Douglas Granite gave the first true public address in over 200 years, and not recorded over radio. Long was it spoken about how America was coming back and how the ego would soar over this great nation once again. Despite not being part of the nation for most of their lives, the citizens in Reno who heard the president speak felt a deep sense of patriotism. Not felt in years as the spirit of the old world took rest inside them. Douglas Granite assured that they would see America through and get and from his home. From here I'll be but a servant to the people. America will be restored, and from here I'll see it through. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> We're on the sky. Plodox energy. Oh, crap. I should have done that one then. Oh, that have been so nice. If you want about fuel efficiency, please just go right ahead. GG Air Command, NORAD, DEFCON. Oh, crud. Darn, I feel locked out now. Because we are. Well, on 15 days, go and do that one. It's fine. Nice. Vegas, New Vegas down, Paul. Nice. Mm. 
downfall of New Vegas. Officers by loyalty and devotion. Too many pure still hide in the officer's ranks. We should promote these laws, those loyal to America. Officers by this merit and skill. What do, if we choose officers based on merit and skill instead of those who their forefathers were? It's probably for the best. Alright. Common man. The NCR adopted a lot of the ideals of the old war of America, including democracy and respect for individual rights, but a lot of forgotten society who could turn to us for assistance. Of course, we're going to keep going through all this up, too. I read this earlier. Oh, NCR Republic. NCR. NCR Republic. NCR. That's good to do. Organize a sympathizer. Uh, many disillusioned citizens of the NCR flocked to the message of the Conclave. It is time to help them turn the thoughts into actions. Our spouse will contact as many sympathizers as possible and form bands of U.S. patriots, waiting patiently to use the weapons that we supplied them. Of course. You're gonna need another one too, huh? What if we didn't cause the Lucia incident? What if we went straight to Maxim and Necropolis too? Infantry equipment, fire team, support equipment. Forgotten men and women. Although the answer is a democracy, it's highly flawed. Brahmin barons run the northern territories like feudal holdings, crushing small farmers and factory workers. The caravans buy and sell senators for bottle caps and ethnic tensions. <clears throat> Simmer beneath the surface. A leader who promised to restore pre war America's ideals and rally the forgotten people in New California could be very successful with their aid. Remember those who've been forgotten. Oh, that's good. So we're not going to use robots. We have rapid response divisions, which will. Increase later on. We don't need the robot divisions. Last American Army is the one we're using. Ooh, artillery battery. More, that breakthrough saw attack is insane. I love it. Uh, dogs, demo teams. Do we, are we making demo teams? Do we have any demos? Uh, anti tank. Anti tank is always good to use too. Uh, power armor is not bad. Chems? Eh, it's not bad. We have enough support equipment. Vertebrate support wings sound really cool. We need more vertebrates for this though. More for defense, break the south attack. Armor. Yeah, she got a bit of armor on them too, and HP. But do we have enough vertebrates for everybody and everything here? Cass? It's gonna be drastically increase everything here. If you try it. Anything here important? No. Later demoted, promotion costs a thousand. Yeah, you'll never become a leader again. Oh well yeah. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Commando strong. So much to be inspirational though to everybody. Once we're on command bar, of course. Good. Power all those grids. Because later on you can get legitimacy by increasing infrastructure or stuff like that. Army and Patriots tutorial. We've gained. <clears throat> The ability to organize patriots. To do so, click on the NCR state and press the organize patriots button from the state menu. States that have armed patriots will flip to our side and spawn militia units when we decide to start out the California uprising. Arming patriots cost more political power each time it's used. Americans will always fight for freedom. Nice. I'll do this area up here. Having Northern California unlocked for us would be nice. Bodega. 25. There we go. Having Northern California under us is fantastic. Oh, that's where we need this from. Okay. So, our standardizations. Output, definitely. Definitely output. A new threat toward out of Tucson. We're from southern Arizona, speak of a new type of chair being driven by the raiders, riders of Tucson. While eyewitness testimony sketchy, overhead flights depict what could be only described as columns of pre war tanks rolling across the wasteland landscape. And so concluded, this must be the work of the Quillen Palat time. Working alongside the Cult of Nass in Tucson to bring these steel war machines back from the grave. It's unknown that the tanks are powered by fusion reactors or old world oil, but it's known that these banks are a disturbing development for them across Colorado. Cool.
This should be enough to capitulate him, right? It's the California Civil War. The petition for constitutional convention to reform the NCR has reached the Senate and they refuse to hear it. Proponents of Enclave have taken to the streets and have been fired on by gun runners and another NCR loyalist. That California Civil War has begun. Why don't we just take them out? Can we just, like, declare a war on them? And then just eat them up that way? Do we have to do that one? What if we don't want a civil war? What if we said, nah, I don't feel like it? Does that work? Does it work like that? Like, seriously. Let's deploy this first. Can't just turn triumphant though. So let's just see what it's like. Oh. We have no war goal against them, huh? God dang it. Uh, call in favors. Connections in the NCR. Stage reader attacks, which I never do, really. NCR, and now them. Team White. White team. I guess we're the actor. At Ball City uh, University School of Law. First class of all cities graduating. This includes the first crop of lawyers to be professionally trained since the bombs fell. Although some are already filing, filing lawsuits on behalf of caravan companies, manipulating the bottle cap feature markets, and having courier deal over, ceasing to desist orders of rival gun runners, there's an upside. Some of these students want to join the United States government, while well, others are representing the needy citizens of the court. Given the enclave's origins in the pre war law firms, it's kind of touching. Maybe the reform path was a mistake. Look at all that PP we got. Love it. Nothing like good old PP. Propaganda, which we still need to do, but still, like, uh, wasn't there one where we could just go to war with the NCR? Oh, this one is. Remember Navarro. Yeah, there you go. Uh, activities, NCR radio. Um, <clears throat> our new California radio will play a highbrow, subtly pro enclave pieces that also criticize Shady Sands, but some of them in the enclave might get angry that we're spending time and resources to win hearts and minds instead of buying more plasma guns. Why not? Extract spies. Mm. Yosemite. Um, so, like Shady Sands, for example, it's 50 VPs. Scalder is 5. Yosemite is worth none. That's worth 5. 10, 10, 25, uh, 25, 20, 10, 5, 5, 10, I just don't know if we have enough here to do what we really need to do. You know, I'm going to put them here as well, just because uh, Wood Lake is five, Northern Mojave is five, Southern Mojave. I'll put them in Ashton as well. If this doesn't go well, then I'll go back to the drawing board off screen. I'll see what stuff we can adjust maybe. That infantry armor's looking pretty good, though. It better be looking pretty good, because my god, are we going to need it. 20 days left. Let's keep building. Fantastic. Another Legion monster. A series of grainy photos from a trader <clears throat> in Arizona were published yesterday, giving rise to hysteria about the latest development out of Arizona. Reports indicate the Legion's managed to wrangle a mutated pre war monster called an elephant. Analysts have determined the beast to be 20 feet tall and able to smash a man in power armor with its trunk. Many have begun to nickname the monster as Hannibal. I believe that Kaiser is breeding the monster that lives in California, kills as many as possible ahead of his advancing army. Um, Leaders are asking for citizens to remain calm, saying that the combined might of the army and air force will keep them safe despite mounting evidence of a new and terrifying legion. Alright, this is getting stupid. I don't think we'll have enough here to do this. Remember Navarro, we could try it, but restore the reactor. Um, yeah, 
don't think we do very much. Oh, there's Vault Vault Cheese Hands, that's good. So we do have one extra. They're still trying to get Dana Point. Interesting. Next to Kali. Almost there. So with that much done, half of them are already gone. I want you guys to start marching in if possible. In and around and go. Steal as much as you possibly can. <clears throat> Belmore. Junk Town. Give me major power, huh? Nice. FN News, NCR Army routed. Once seen as the mightiest force in the wasteland, the Army of the Bears, all but a remnant of the former self, with abandoned equipment, buys and remnants of a corrupt and dying bear left in their wake. The Victorious Longclay forces are to continue to advance on all fronts, rooting out the last of the Ranger holdouts in urban areas and sending the remnants of the NCR fleeing all the way to the Colorado. As the banner of the old world rises over the ashes of the new world, many former are. Former NCR assistants look out to the black power armored soldiers and now patrol the streets wondering if the Enclave also brings old war horrors or hopes for the new it's the end of the bear. Bonyard remnants are the fall of Navarro. Many survivors try to look at integrating the NCR. While a large number are found out and arrested, many more successfully begin the new lives in the Boneyard. Those people on their descendants have now petitioned us to join the Enclave. The ones fall the NCR army. Oh, it is really pushing the shady. <clears throat> The mighty army of the bear against what was expected by analysts about the Grand's government in New Reno has taken heavy casualties in the recent conflict. Those same experts are left shocked how the rugged NCR army, with tried and true battle tested equipment that overran the Enclave defenses in Navarro, is suffering high, such staggering losses in recent battles. Experts have noted the increased numbers of the Enclave armed forces, as well as the fact that the Ar NCR armies were formed into several independent battalions, sized elements, meant to put down raiders, and that they haven't faced an actual force of their size in the entire history. Regardless of war, it still rages on as America's finest do battle with a seemingly limitless number of California staunchest defenders. Much of that new American army have been bolstered by the remnants. The survivors of the NCR army afforded better equipment and pay in the NCR army. Many of those have joined the American army, pushing the alien back into Arizona, sharing the battle cry of freedom. We might win this war yet. God dang, you go there. You have to hold now. You all pretty much just have to hold. It sucks. You... I'm still gonna go this way, though. I just don't think we can do very much now. Now that they have found us out. So. Which really sucks. One of these guys supposed to rise up or something? Overall uprisings? Requisition resources. Our troops need supplies, sometimes more than what we can produce and transport to them. Civilians will have to be space to share their resources with the Liberators. Destroying NCR Air Force. <clears throat> The NCRAF uses open radio channels and uh, next to no code talk with flying. That can be easily exploited to our advantage. Uh, at least they realize what's going on and switch channels. It takes some time for us to gain, regain the frequency. Um, organization relations. Of course, I guess the uprising only happens when you do it the legit way, which kind of sucks. It's kind of stupid, honestly. I guess I'd do it the normal way, so. This was a failure. Um, at the beginning of the next episode, I might have capitulated. I might not. We'll have to wait and see. I'll get to the new base of operations, though. While parts of the base remain in disrepair, we found ourselves an excellent base of operations for now. We can dedicate some of the machinery left here towards producing equipment. Streamline power armor production. While focusing our efforts on power armor production, we begin to further advance and improve upon the venerable T-51B, X-01, even the X-02 power armor systems. Further widen the gap between ourselves and those who dare steal American military assets. Reopening in the Sierra Laboratory. Sierra Depot is home to a sprawling underground lab complex complete with all the finest instruments of science of the pre-war days. Reopening and expanding those facilities will also retain a technological edge of the waste sample. So enjoy the hope you enjoyed the video. If not, if you did though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'm going to go back to the drawing board and make sure we can actually land and successfully defeat them all. We might still have the lost cells spawn or you know become greater and whatnot, but we'll have to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.